Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video today. Today guys, we are going to discuss about the run app function of Flutter. Before I start with the video guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Okay, let's get started. So as you guys have already understood guys, uh, this is a continuation of our Flutter basic series. And uh, the first part of this feed series, we actually created a basic flutter app which looked like this so we have got a demo home page here and we have got a button and as many times you click on this button the text actually uh, shows the incremented counter okay so you can refer that video guys if you don't know how to create your first flutter project but uh, this is how it looks after you create your first project okay now let's look at the code which actually created this project okay uh, first thing uh, guys really important thing if you are using Android studio to code your flutter projects then you have got this drop down here and by default Android is selected in this drop down so you will only see your Android files if you click on this drop down and select projects you will actually see all the uh, all the folders inside your flutter project so for example you will also see the iOS code you will also see the Android code and you will also have your lib folder which is actually our main folder to code okay so inside the lib folder guys we have got our main file which is called as main.dart and uh, we all know that flutter is coded in dart and just like all other programming languages dart also has a main function which is called as void main in this case now we all know that the main function is the function which is the starting point of your program it's the entry point so whichever code line is written inside the main functions are going to get executed when you first run your application okay so in this case guys the code which is written here is actually a function being called and that function is called as run app okay let's go inside this function and let's see how this function behaves so you can see guys that run app is actually taking an object of class widget and then it is doing some binding with it it is doing some uh, warm-up frame with it Okay, let's try to understand what that is. So basically guys, run app function is the function which is actually responsible for rendering the UI of your application on your mobile, on your desktop, on your web, uh, web page. Okay, so basically run app function is taking a class object of type widget. Widget is nothing but a component, a UI component. So you can see here that this whole web page is sort of a widget. We can call it like a container widget or a layout widget, right? And inside this whole big layout widget, you have got child widgets like you've got this banner here, you've got this text widget here, you've got this button widget here. So whatever widget we actually pass inside the run app actually becomes our root widget. So it becomes the root of the tree. And whatever widgets are present inside as children to the root widget, they become the child widgets and they are rendered uh, just as they are specified in the in the code. Okay. So just remember guys that whatever widget you pass inside the run app function, that should be your main your main root widget. Okay, that because run app actually makes it uh, attach it as a root widget and then it renders it on the screen so your root widget is the first widget to get rendered and then all your child widgets are rendered okay so that's the function of run app now you can see on the main.dat file guys that the object which we are passing here is of class my app and my app class is here my app class is extending a class of stateless widget then we have another class here which is called as my home page which is also extending stateful widget uh, i mean which is uh, which is extending stateful widget and my app is extending stateless widget then we have got another class my home page state which is actually the state so i can say that the names of these uh, classes are pretty uh, self understandable that stateless widgets are those widgets which do not maintain a state they basically uh, are kind of those UI components which are static. So for example, in this case, you can see that this whole container is sort of static. Uh, no matter what I do, the web page is not moving. Okay, The banner inside the web page is still there. 
the text widget is still there the button is still there the child components are all there so it's not moving okay then you have got your stateful widget so stateful widgets are those widgets which actually change their behavior change their uh, properties for example their color their text value uh, anything uh, they change their property on the basis of the state okay whenever you have got a stateful widget guys uh, it also has an object of state associated with it okay so because state is the object which gets persisted over the period of time and whatever with the value of the state actually decides the look and feel of your stateful widget okay so i hope that concept is clear to you guys uh we will definitely dive into how to create stateless and stateful widget but for an introduction i think this is pretty much enough for you guys to understand now we are actually not going to use these complicated stateless stateful widget we just want to focus on our run app function okay so what i'm going to do guys i'm not going to pass this my app uh, object here i'm going to create a center object okay what is center object center object is a child uh, is is a layout component okay it's a layout widget and it is a type of layout widget which whatever child object you pass inside it it always puts them in the center so for example guys you can see that i am passing inside it a text child component a text child widget sorry i always called things components but they are actually widgets and this text child uh, widget is having the text hello world and text direction is of type text direction inum dot ltr which is left to right you can do rtl which is right to left okay now i'm just going to save this code guys and you can see that as soon as i save this code i got a reloading here so what happens is that you don't really have to restart your code if you make any change in your dart file so if you make any change in your dart file it's a hot reload and you can see on my screen that the chrome has pretty much reloaded itself and now instead of uh, looking at that uh, blue color banner and the button and the text we see a simple hello world here okay so this is how run app works guys what run app actually does is that it takes a widget it renders the widget on the screen that widget could be a uh, layout widget uh, that widget could be your own custom stateless stateful widget it could be anything so basically whatever uh, you pass inside it job of run app function is just to render it okay another thing guys whenever you are passing any widget inside the run app function let's say it's a stateful widget so we know that the stateful widget depends upon the state object okay so let's say if the state of the object changes so if the state of the object changes then run app function basically takes the previous ui rendered which was based upon the previous state and then the new ui on the basis of the new state and then it compares both of them and it does the minimum amount of effort needed to actually render the change on the screen <coughs> so <coughs> to demonstrate it uh, is uh, much better guys i'm just going to do the my, my app again and uh, you can see that once it hot reloads if uh, if i click this button you can see that the whole page is not refreshing whole page is not refreshing the <clears throat> only the text part of this function is actually getting incremented so this is the thing guys that uh, if there is a stateful uh, object also stateful widget also being passed inside the run app run app will only render the particular component which uh, is dependent upon the state it will not render the whole page again okay so that's how the transition uh, is pretty smooth okay so that was the video guys that was about run app function i hope you guys are now clear with this function you know the job of the run app and you know how to how you can render your own layouts uh, uh, using the run app function 
so that was uh, the video guys i hope you like it if you did then please do not forget to like it and share it with your friends and uh, write down in the comment section below guys anything you want to say to me all feedback and comments are definitely welcome if you have not yet subscribed if you are not new to my channel then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos i'll see you guys in the next video guys thank you so much for watching until next time take care and bye bye